good morning everyone and welcome back to craft eccentricity and today i'm going to do panelisa again because there's a couple of items that i've got that i've never had chance to make so today i want to do the soda bottle so i'm just going to put down my scruffy mat on here which is uh you know scruffy because <laughs> it's my little project mat and this is the soda bottle that I want to do. And I've cut it apart so that I could cut it. And there is the bottle. Whoops. Just pick everything up. There is the straw. There is the bottle lid. We've got a couple of little pieces of kind of lacy label. And then we've got a label and a heart and we've got the contents of the bottle now one of the things that panelisa always does whoops i forgot another heart we've got a little heart that sits on top of the straw she always sends you um a little gift with your package and it's all really cute little bits of journaling stuff so you usually get that and then you'll get a few pearls or you get something like this little enamel dots well these are enamel stars so i thought i really like that color scheme and this would make a really cool embellishment for a fourth of july card so i figured i'm going to channel me embellishment and my stars and also to do that i'm as you can see using all white cardstock so i'm choosing these two colors so oh, look at that straight away Cerulean blue and a deep red and my camera just showed it. Ooh, I'm really pleased about that. Right, I've decided that my bottle is going to be white and if my bottle is going to be white then my little sort of like dimensional cappy bit also needs to be white. But I want the contents of my bottle to be blue. So anything that's going to be red right now, I'm moving over here and I'm going to have, I think, no, actually I'm going to have a blue straw. I'm going to keep the label white because if I can find my stamp, I'd quite like to put um, a four or something else on there or maybe even just a star. So the contents of my bottle are going to be blue. And I've just shown you what pen I'm using. I'm going to use the broad tip this time. These are brush markers. And uh, they are super, super saturated. You should be able to see just how juicy that looks on my mat as I'm going over. Now, I don't worry about the streaky bits at the moment because I will go over it again in a second. So I'm having blue contents in my bottle. I haven't got a clue what kind of food colouring that would be or how hyperactive it would make you after. But, um, yeah, that's the blue contents of my bottle. Kind of blueberry-ish. So if I pick that up and put that down on there, that's what's going inside of the bottle. Now, the thing is, is I'm trying to decide what colour I want my straw. I think I'm going to go blue. And... I think I'll probably let it dry for a little bit and then go over with another coat just to darken it. So it's a smidgen darker than the contents of the bottle. And this is really quick. I mean, you can, you know, um, obviously I can't do it on camera because it takes so long to dry. Go all over it with your jewellery glaze or your glossy accents and uh, you've got a really pretty shiny embellishment that you can use. And then, of course, my hearts are going to be red. And that is the um, the deep red that I've just shown you. I'm going to use the brush section this time. Always check your fingers. You see I've got blue there. If I put that down there on wet red, you're going to transfer blue into your alcohol because alcohol will transfer to alcohol. So I can see that's a clean finger. And I'm going to use that one. Just quickly go over that. You can see, doing something like this, really, no effort at all. Right, so what I want to do is clean my mat and I'll be straight back. Right, so my mat is nice and clean and I've got my bottle of glue and my blue contents need to go on top 
of my um, white bottle. So I'm just putting a little bit of glue down here, a big blob there, which I didn't mean to do. We're just going to stick that on and position it where we want. Now it kind of, it slightly works, if you know what I mean, within a white border. So you just need to get it where it feels right for you. Now I did test this before to see if I could make a shaker um, and I can't. So the border was just too thin for me. Just pushing that across. I think I've got it even. Just give that a smooth. I'll get my piece of dirty kitchen paper and get that off again. Get the yuck off my fingers. And then the next thing that I want to do is, <clears throat> excuse my throat, is pop this down in here. Because obviously the straw is going on there. But because this has got to go here, I'm trying to figure out how far down my straw will go. Right, okay. And I actually want my straw over here. Right, so I can see that and first thing I want to do is glue my straw onto my bottle cap and I'm going to go with it, I think, about there. Remember to test it because you don't want your straw going outside of your bottle. Right, so I'm doing that like that and I'm just going to flip it over and you can see I've got space there and I'm just going to go underneath and put just a little screws of glue and push that down. Right. And while that's still a bit damp there, I'm just going to put a little bit along this edge because that's going to be glued to the top of my bottle now. Just capping off my glue because sometimes it dries real quick. So I need to position my bottle cap. I hope you can see what I'm doing because I can't. So I've got that going on there. But I want that to be about there. I think I've got that on straight. So I've got my little bottle cap. I'm just going to pick it up towards me to make sure that I've done it right. Just move anything around while you still can. Alright, so I've got my straw and my bottle. So how quick that was. Really, really quick. And I'm going to put my heart, my little one, on top of the straw. Just hold everything down while I do that. Pop that onto there. So I've got my little hot top straw. Now I've got my bottle label. And I think I'm just going to go with the heart and the star in the middle of it actually. Pop that down really quickly. Make sure you've got it within the pattern and dimensions of your bottle, which is about there. And then we've got our two lacy bits, bigger one at the top, smaller one at the bottom. Yeah, that sounds about right. So I'm just doing the smaller one first, just dotting that along. Just work that within the dimensions of your bottle. Pop that down. So I remember the image on the website has got a sort of small gap between the lacy bit and the actual label. So touch this one up now. And I'm trying to turn it around in my fingers without getting covered. And hopefully that is getting positions with the same amount of space. 
because it's really cute and quirky. I think that's the right term to use for it. A quirky soda bottle. I'm just going to get some of my yuck off there. But you could do these in all kinds of bright colours and obviously for birthdays and stuff like that. I'm actually trying to move it down, just drag it with my fingers. There we go. And then my bigger heart is going to go onto um, the label centre. And then I've got my lovely little enamel stars to play with. But I think that's that's a really great kind of like retro combination. So there's the little heart in the middle of the soda bottle. And then we get to play. Right, so I think I'm going to go with a, a white star in the middle of the label. Choose one of the smaller ones. Make sure it fits. Move that around there. Ooh, I like that. And then I'm going to go with a, a turquoisey smaller one here so that we can see it. And then I think I might go with a, a darker blue down here. I don't know if that's going to fit into the scheme of things. Probably just about. So you can just have fun with all your little bitty bobs. I think I'm going to put a red star on there. I kind of like the idea of that. Channeling the 4th of July. And I think I'm going to put another one on there. Yeah, I like that. So. Moving everything out of the way. And I hope that you can see it. My camera was really, really good before. I've never seen it ever show labels first time on the... Uh, on my pens before. But look how quick and simple that was. And if you've got um, a firework stencil or a stamp or something to put behind and uh, a big number four or something, then you've got a really, really quick embellishment. Right, that is what I've got for you today. And I think that's seriously cute. As I said, you know, you can do a big long row of bottles of lemonade or something to make a really sweet looking birthday card or anything with something like this. Party invite. And like I've just said, you know, channeling the 4th of July. So I'm trying to think. I'm going to be up tomorrow with a personal haul. At least I hope I am. And uh, yeah. And that's what I got for you. <laughs> Do you know, I was having terrible, terrible problems with my YouTube upload yesterday. And for a while, I think YouTube said it's a private. I didn't do that. So no one got to see it. And then I noticed that the thumbnail wasn't showing. So I had to jump through all kinds of hoops and hurdles to find out what I'd done wrong there. Um, but eventually, you know, I did get it to show on the channel. But anyway, I thank you so much for watching. I hope the thumbnail shows on this one. And as usual, all links below. Bye.